morning. I uh, just woke up and that means the perfect time to talk about Google Sheets query functions, uh, which are absolutely my favorite function because they combine all the summing and counting and averaging of, of those arithmetic functions with all the filtering functions that you need to, to cleanse data or to calculate your, uh, your metrics. So let's dive into a really basic query function here. So here in columns D through G, I have some sample tweets, about seven sample tweets that I pulled down. And we have the date, the tweet text, the handle they were tweeted by, and the average num and the number of retweets. Um, and let's run a really basic query function here to calculate the average number of retweets from this list. So the first phrase, the first element rather of a query function is just the data that you want to query. So in this case, that's columns D through G. Um, and then the second element is your actual query text. Uh, so you enclose that in quotes, and we're just going to say every query must have a select statement. And the select statement says, which columns are you going to pull? And what math do you want to maybe do on those columns? Um, so let's say, let's just select the average of column G, the average retweets for this list. Cool, so that gives us 2.42. Um, let's say we, let's say we only care about tweets that there was an at mention. Um, so there we want to combine, we want to add a condition to the query function. That's where we can get some, some of the filtering action that you'd otherwise have to use the filter function for. Um, so let's, we do that with the, the, the where uh, clause in our query. So we'll say where E, um, the, the tweet text contains an at mention. And if we're doing a string comparison, we want these single quotes. But what about, I notice in here there's an at mention that is a retweet. What if we don't want to include actual retweets in our counting because that messes up the, the retweet count? Um, let's add a second condition. And we do that by either typing and or or, depending on what you want the, you know, the condition to be. Um, and we'll say, and not E contains retweet. So it's kind of goofy in, in Google Sheets queries. When you want the negative to be true for at least um, contains, you put not in front of the column versus afterwards, which might be goofy if you're used to uh, writing SQL queries. Cool, and our average there is zero. So that's some basic, you know, doing math on one column doing some basic, you know, basic filtering there. What if we wanted to return a t an entire table of all of the names, the, the kind of retweet count by the handle who tweeted them? So instead of average here, let's actually take the handle, column F, and let's take the sum of retweets, just the total retweets that the handle garnered. Um, let's move, remove these conditions because we don't really care about those anymore. Um, and anytime you're, anytime you're doing an aggregation like this, where you're, you're saying pivot basically all the sum of all retweets by the handle, um, you'll want to use the group by um, element and we'll say group by handle. Great, so we see here we have a table now um, of the sums of all of our, how many retweets all of our handles garnered. You notice there's a blank space here. This, this will happen sometimes with query. Because our data range encompasses the entire column, D through G, um, we're counting all these blank spaces below. So we wanna, I usually add a where condition there um, to say where the tweet text is not blank, so it is not equal to empty quotes, and that removes our, our empty row. You also notice that this sum column has some retweets, and that's kind of an ugly label for a column, um, especially if we're gonna, gonna share this with people. So let's add a label clause to our query where we can label different columns. So let's say sum G, and you need to type the entire you know, if you did math in a column, like that entire math function, uh, label sum G, um, just like total retweets, let's say. Cool. 
So now that we got a feel for some of the basics of the Google Sheets query, um, in the next video I'll talk about how to use dynamic date functions within queries how to and how to create drop-down menus so that you can select different options uh, dynamically within a query. Um, and if you want to grab the cheat sheet that goes along with this video and includes about eight or nine other Google Sheets functions along with query, um, you can do that at the link in the description. See you next time.